Hi, welcome to Professional Certifications Channel. Let's break down CISSP exam preparation, one topic a day for focused and effective learning. Today's topic is Business Impact Analysis, BI. Definition A business impact analysis, BIA, is a systematic process used to identify and evaluate the potential effects of a disruption on an organization's critical business functions. The BIA helps organizations understand the impact of various types of disruptions, e.g., natural disasters, cyber attacks, system failures, by determining which processes are critical, the potential consequences of downtime, and the recovery requirements, such as recovery time objectives and recovery point objectives. Key Concepts 1. Purpose of the BIA the primary goal of a BIA is to identify the organization's most critical business functions and quantify the impact of their disruption. This information is used to prioritize recovery efforts and allocate resources effectively in a Business Continuity Plan BCP, or Disaster Recovery Plan DRP. BIA focuses on the what, i.e., what are the critical business functions and what are the impacts of their downtime, rather than the how, how to recover which is covered by BCP slash DRP. 2. Components of a Business Impact Analysis Identification of Critical Business Functions, CBFs CBFs are the processes, services, or operations that are essential for the organization to continue functioning. If these functions are disrupted, it can result in significant financial, operational, or reputational damage. Examples Customer service operations, financial transactions, supply chain management, IT services, and regulatory compliance processes. Impact Assessment The BIA evaluates the potential impact of a disruption on each critical business function. This impact may be measured in various ways. Financial Impact Loss of revenue, penalties, fines, or increased costs. Operational Impact Disruption of services, inability to meet customer demand, or delays in production. Reputational impact, damage to the organization's public image, trust with customers, and relationships with partners. Legal and regulatory impact, failing to meet legal or regulatory requirements could result in fines or legal actions. Recovery requirements. Recovery time objective. RTO the maximum allowable time a business function can be unavailable before it causes significant harm to the organization. Shorter RTOs indicate that the function is more critical and needs faster recovery. Recovery point objective, RPO the maximum acceptable amount of data loss, measured in time, that the organization can tolerate. Shorter RPOs indicate that the data is more critical, and frequent backups or real-time replication may be needed. 3. Steps in Conducting a BIA Step 1. Identify critical business processes Work with department heads and stakeholders to identify all business processes and their importance to overall operations. Rank processes based on their criticality. Step 2. Assess impact of disruption Evaluate the potential impact of downtime for each process, focusing on financial, operational, reputational, and legal-slash-regulatory impacts. Step 3. Determine RTO and RPO. Establish the RTO for each business process, which represents the maximum acceptable downtime. Identify the RPO, which defines the maximum acceptable data loss for each system or process. Step 4. Identify dependencies. Identify the interdependencies between various processes, systems, and third-party services. Some business functions rely on others, so understanding these relationships is essential for prioritizing recovery efforts. Step 5. Prioritize resources. Based on the criticality of business functions and their RTO slash RPO, allocate resources to ensure that the most critical processes are prioritized for recovery in a disaster or disruption. 4. RTO, Recovery Time Objective RTO is the maximum amount of time a business function can be unavailable before causing significant harm to the organization. Example, an e-commerce company might have an RTO of 2 hours for its payment processing system, 
meaning that system must be back online within two hours of disruption to avoid serious financial losses. 5. RPO, Recovery Point Objective RPO is the maximum amount of data loss, in terms of time, that an organization can tolerate for a given system or business function. Example, a financial services firm might have an RPO of 15 minutes for its transaction database meaning that backups need to occur every 15 minutes to ensure minimal data loss in case of a system failure. 6. Benefits of a BIA Prioritization of recovery efforts. The BIA provides a clear understanding of which business functions are most critical, enabling organizations to prioritize recovery activities and resources during a disruption. Resource allocation. By identifying critical functions and their recovery requirements, Organizations can allocate the appropriate resources, e.g., technology, personnel, backup solutions, to minimize the impact of disruptions. Cost savings. The BIA helps balance the cost of recovery solutions with the potential impact of downtime, allowing organizations to make cost-effective decisions about backup, redundancy, and recovery strategies. Improved decision-making. By understanding the potential consequences of downtime, organizations can make informed decisions about risk management, insurance, and third-party service level agreements, SLAs. 7. BIA and Business Continuity The BIA is a crucial foundation for business continuity planning, BCP, and disaster recovery planning, DRP. It identifies which business functions need continuity or recovery plans how quickly they need to be restored, and what resources are required. The information gathered from the BIA is used to develop and implement strategies to maintain or quickly restore operations during and after a disruption. 8. Challenges in conducting a BIA Accurate data collection, gathering accurate information about business processes, dependencies, and potential impacts can be challenging, especially in large or complex organizations. Stakeholder involvement. The success of a BIA relies on input from various stakeholders across the organization, including IT, finance, operations, legal, and senior management. Ensuring consistent engagement can be difficult. Dynamic nature of business, business operations, technology, and risks are constantly evolving. A BIA must be regularly updated to reflect changes in business priorities, technology, and the external threat landscape. 9. BIA Documentation A BIA report should include a list of critical business functions and their dependencies, the potential impact of disruptions for each function, the RTOs and RPOs for each function, recommendations for recovery strategies based on the findings. This documentation becomes part of the broader business continuity plan, BCP, and is critical for making informed decisions during a disaster. 10. Regulatory and Compliance Considerations Many industries require organizations to conduct a BIA as part of their regulatory obligations. For example, HIPAA, healthcare organizations must perform a BIA to ensure the continued availability of electronic protected health information, EPHI, during disruptions. PCID says, Organizations that process payment card data must ensure that critical systems are protected and can be restored in a timely manner. ISO IEC 22301, the International Standard for Business Continuity Management, which includes BIA as a key component of developing a business continuity plan. Importance in the CISSP exam, the Business Impact Analysis, BIA is a critical part of the security and risk management domain in the CISSP exam. CISSP aspirants need to understand how to conduct a BIA, identify critical business functions, assess the potential impacts of disruptions, and determine appropriate RTOs and RPOs. Exam questions may focus on how the BIA fits into broader business continuity planning, BCP, and disaster recovery planning, DRP, processes as well as the role of BIA in prioritizing recovery efforts. Real-world example. A financial services firm conducts a BIA and identifies its trading platform as a critical business function. 
The BIA reveals that a disruption to the platform for more than one hour could result in significant financial losses and reputational damage. As a result, the firm sets an RTO of one hour and an RPO of five minutes for the trading platform, and it implements real-time data replication and a hot-site failover strategy to ensure rapid recovery.